there's a new trendy disease, ailment, diagnosis called low T. Mm. Real or marketing? So low testosterone, uh, also known as hypogonadism, it's a real thing, but there's a whole lot of marketing behind it as well. Here is what's happening. Um, men after a certain age, they start feeling different. Uh, low energy, uh, poor memory, uh, less uh, desire for sexual activity, erectile issues, and oftentimes they, when you do a blood test, that they, they have low testosterone. Well, is it low or is it their testosterone levels have declined with age? They're, so and after the age the of 30, thing? your testosterone levels decline with age, or right. at least there again, I like to believe that I have some control over that if I do some more deadlifts and squats right. at the, with barbells and weights. Um, and there's some truth to that as well. Overall, the population mm -hmm. as a whole, after the age of 30, the um, t testosterone level decreases about 1% a year right. with time. Mm -hmm. So then, um, so what's, so then there's two scenarios. You have a patient that comes in, they have low testosterone, but they don't have any other symptoms. Do you treat that? Well, let me ask you a different way. Is there a normal, so it's declining over time. I guess the question is what's a, a normal or proper testosterone level for different ages? Right, so that right. if they're declining over time, um, you don't want to, you don't want them to be treat to have them to have the at fifty years old to have the testosterone level of a twenty year old. Many men beg to differ, but I think you're right <laughs> because then it could be a distraction. So we, so the range of testosterone that's normal is between three hundred and nine hundred. That's a huge span there between 300. So one can have a testosterone of 350 and have symptoms of low testosterone as well. It doesn't have to be 250. Right. So do you treat that? Um, men in their 50s, to go with your example, they should be at around 600, 700. So is it that you have to look to the, the symptoms? If somebody's having some symptoms of performance or you know, yeah. or bone, bone issues or things like that, um, they will then, you start to treat or you look to testosterone and think about supplementing? So when do we treat? Right. When do we treat? Now, that, that question is actually interesting because I think that we're no, none of us are on the right, on the same page. Well, and again, it's very popular right now to talk about treating your low T and- Correct. As always, don't do this stuff at home. So there's very, so it's, it's, it's business, right. it's good business, uh, right. is about, you know, it could be up to 2,000 right. a month for testosterone treatment. When do you treat? So you have a case where somebody has symptoms, but, but, but T, T levels are high, and you have another case where they have no symptoms, but T levels are low. What do you do? Do you treat that person with low T? Everybody's different. So I'm gonna give you my perspective, right. and I'll tell you what I do. Um, what I do is I want testosterone to be at proper levels at all time, despite of the symptoms. Why? Because either the symptoms are on their way, or, Low testosterone is associated with advanced prostate cancer, okay? It used to be thought that, wait a minute, testosterone is the enemy right. for prostate cancer. When you look at the overall research for the last 70 years, the conclusion that many researchers have made, and I think I agree with, is, wait a minute, not only is testosterone not a problem for prostate cancer, low testosterone is probably a problem for an increased risk of aggressive prostate cancer. There's also cardiovascular benefit to proper testosterone right. levels. There's also osteosporosis, um, bone Prosis, health, right. or prevention of osteosporosis. Right. So if somebody presents with no symptoms, low T, I wanna increase it, but I wanna increase it only in my practice with lifestyle changes. Low, very low testosterone levels are not normal. Why is your body, you know, I'm talk, I almost talk to them like a parent. You know, go to the corner, stand on, t sit in timeout, and let me know, find out why your right. testosterone levels is misbehaving. Your body's misbehaving. Why does that happen? Many reasons. Men, men produce their testosterone between four and six o'clock in the morning. Only when they're in REM sleep, phase four sleep. Well, men are having all kinds of sleep issues. Right. 
right? They're having all sorts of sleep. So if they don't get to phase four or they don't, you know, they're waking up all the time, they're not getting their testosterone production. Vitamin D deficiency. Vitamin D helps with the production of testosterone. Everyone is deficient unless they supplement because no one is spending enough time outdoors under the sun, almost naked. And that's what's required Correct. to make enough vitamin D. Um, cortisol is another chemical that's produced in the body when we overly stress or when we stress. Cortisol castrates. That's another hashtag, by the way. <laughs> cortisol, cortisol castrates. castrates yeah. So what happens is that cortisol interferes with the production of testosterone. Too much stress, too much cortisol, that gets into the, in, into the production pathway. Weak muscles. Men who exercise their, mu their big muscles, not biceps or triceps, legs and back, produce more testosterone. So men need to be stronger. Strength helps with longevity. That's just an aside. So we need to be stronger, L do less cardio. So Guys with low T who are athletes, these endurance athletes are actually in bad shape from a testosterone perspective. They're stressing their bodies out by running 60, 70 miles a week, not stressing their big muscles right. enough, back and, and legs. So those are the, 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 the few of the, that, that's my so, approach and those are the few things that cause it and contribute to, to, pro, to low so, testosterone. So as with many things, that we are creating our own ailments on this, our lifestyle, our lifestyle choices, the stress, the sedentariness, and then we're cycling onto ourselves. But there are natural ways that yeah. we can build it back. Through muscles, vitamin D. And vitamin D, I'll go through the list right. very quickly. Go through the list quickly stress, we're out. stress big muscles uh, with weight resistant exercise. Stop watching nighttime news, go to sleep, get some sleep so you can make more testosterone. If you have urinary, urinary issues, get those fixed. Have more sex, sex helps with not only prevention of prostate <laughs> cancer, as we discovered. I think, I think men would say sex helps with anything, <laughs> with but anything, go on. Uh, but it, I, and I would agree, Good. but it certainly helps with um, building more testosterone. Mm -hmm. um, keep fat at a very low level, body fat at a very low level, because what happens is that uh, testosterone converts to estrogen in fat. It's called an aromatase activity. Right. The, the enzyme right. is produced, so you make more estrogen from fat. So keep fat low. and do um, uh, lifting, Wait which I think that we already right. covered that. All right. Big topic. Thank you, Dr. G. My pleasure. If you liked what you just saw, we have a whole lot more with Dr. Gio Espinoza at our website, bottomlineinc.com. And do me a favor, share this, tell your friends. We have so much great information. Come to bottomlineinc.com. Mm -hmm.